Good afternoon guys and welcome to another video here from the beautiful country of Serbia. We have left Novi Sad and we've come to the capital city of Serbia. This is Belgrade. It is a massive city, um, but it's not too big. It's not like, you know, Paris or, or Munich or something like that. It's still a nice big European city. It is the capital city. It's the biggest city here in Serbia. Uh, we just got in so I decided nothing better than to have a little food tour here in the capital city. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and get something to eat. It's kind of like in the late afternoon, but I know that there's some pretty good food around here. So let's go ahead and start our food tour here in Belgrade, Serbia. Can I get this one with the potatoes, please? Yeah, actually, no, with the rice, with the rice. Thank you so much. Thank you. First stop of the day, we've come to a place known as KMN. What does KMN stand for? I have no clue. I literally have no idea. But I've got a couple things. I've got some rice with chicken cutlet. I've got some sarma, which is their traditional cabbage wrap. And of course, a bean and beef soup. Total price of all this, by the way, 532 dinar. That is remarkably affordable. That is one of the best prices you're gonna get here. Okay, let's first go ahead and start off with the bean soup. It's a bean soup in, in, with some meat, I think she told me. Um, I think some beef, she said. Um, let's go ahead. Try it out. Mm. Oh wow. First off, that's pork. That is definitely not beef. That is pork. And second, the soup. The soup is like a classic a Texan style barbecued um, sort of pork with beans sort of flavor to it. It's very, very intensely barbecued. It's got a sweetness to it. It's got a very smoky, this umami flavor to it. Really, really good. The, the, the meat melts. It literally tears apart. The beans themselves are just almost disintegrating. So that is delicious. That, that is one of the best things I've ever had. Wow, that soup is incredibly delicious. Okay, next up, of course, the sarma. They actually had ones with meat, but when I got there, the person right in front of me took all of the meat sarmas so no choice had to get the rice ones so these are vegetarian sarmas but let's just go ahead and give it a mm. mm. very very interesting it's quite sour it's got like a sour taste it almost reminds me of kimchi because of how sour that lettuce is it's almost like like a sour kimchi, you know, which is what kimchi is. It's just sour cabbage that's been fermented. And you've got a, that sort of like fermented flavor just a little bit. Really, really good, really interesting. I've never had sarma that's that sour before. Very, very different from what I used to. Oh, you know, of course, let's try the rice. It's got some vegetables in it, um, like some corn, some carrot, just simple rice to try it out. Mm. Simple home cooked mm. comfort food. That's what that is. That was simple rice with that. Now, of course, we've got the chicken cutlet here. You can see there's sesame seeds on top, so it's like a sesame chicken cutlet, which looks amazing. Let's go ahead and try this out. Mmm. Mmm. The sesame. It adds this very different, unique, almost like nutty, earthy flavor to it. Almost like a peanutty, almost flavor to it. Really, really delicious. And chicken. Really, really thin layer on the inside, but the sesame for me, that's what really takes it away. That sesame flavor is amazing. Overall, I would say sarma, very sour. The rice, average, chicken, really good. And the bean stew, that's what you should really come for. The bean and pork, that is delicious. I mean, that meat literally just melts in your mouth. That is amazing, that is delicious. That is what you should come for. Like I said, the total price of this is just extremely, extremely affordable. For all of this, it's like, five US dollars. That is a very, very good deal. Um, I'm gonna finish this up and then let's go see what else we can have for extra food outside. Mm -hmm. 
Rolot Savapi? Thank you. <laughs> the sun has set here in Belgrade, and of course, it's time for us to get some dinner. And we've come to a place known as Zlatni Bik. It's actually right next to the park. We're currently at the park, actually, but the place that sells this thing is called Zlatni Bik. It's like a butcher shop, it's like an old school Serbian style butcher shop. They sell all types of meats. I got something called a Rolo kebab, which is kebab wrapped in like bacon or something like that, which honestly sounds amazing. And they put it in this massive burger. I mean, look at this. The size of this is insane. Total price of this, by the way, 190. That is less than two bucks. That's like a buck fifty. That is insanely affordable. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. I've got a lot of different sauces in it. Chilies with onions, cucumbers, everything. It looks delicious. I can't wait anymore. Let's give it a bite. Mmm, that is delicious. The meat, really, really nice and salty and umami. I mean, that is delicious. The chili sauce is actually also really salty. I mean, you look at just the meat itself. It is delicious. The meat has this amazing, just sort of intensely umami flavor to it. It's all the meats I've had here in Serbia have just been really, really umami. It's got that roasted, really char-grilled flavor. You can see the guy at the back, he's just char-grilling it. And the whole array of meats that you can choose from. I love the spiciness that comes with the onions and the extra chili sauce that I put, but I love how the freshness of the cucumber contrasts to that. The bread, honestly for me, not great. I'm not a huge fan of the bread. A little bit rough on the top part. It is soft and bouncy on the inside, but it is, it's a bit too thick. It's a bit too much for me. But for me, that kebab, that flavor of the meat, that is incredible. And it's bouncy in terms of texture. It's kind of like, it was very bouncy, very, very, very sort of elasticy. That's what I really love about the kebabs here in Serbia. And they've done a really, really good job with it. Onions, perfect crunch, like the perfect nice crunch. Of course, the onions I got were mixed in with chili sauce. So that's obviously going to be amazing, but really, really good. And like I said, for the price of 190 dinar, that is amazing. Okay, we're gonna finish this up here in the park and then we're gonna go to another stop on the opposite side of the park that has something else which is also very much meat related. So I'll see you guys then. Onion. Oh no, uh, yeah, yes, 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 both. Uh -huh. Onion, onion. And uh, cucumber, yes, 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 yes. Chili, your chili. Chili, ah, okay. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> next stop of the day, we've come to a place known as a tree log, and as I said, it's on the other side of the park. And we've got something which is very famous, which I've had before in Novi Sad, but this right here, it's a pletskavita, and you're gonna find this anywhere, like everywhere, literally on the street here of Belgrade, of Novi Sad, basically anywhere in Serbia, honestly. It's this massive hamburger and it's big, it's big. The price of this is 300 dinar, which is perfectly, perfectly reasonable. Very, very worth it for the price. I'm just gonna dig right in. This is the Serbian hamburger, the Pleskavica. Oh, this looks amazing. I've got some chili sauce, some onions, some, um, some cucumbers, some tomatoes. Let's go ahead and try it out. That chili, that just hit the right spot. That hits the tip of my tongue. It actually hurts. It actually hurts in that chili. The meat, so, so juicy, so bouncy, so delicious. Full of flavor, full of that delicious umami flavor. I love how good that chili is. Of course, the sauces and everything is great, but the meat and the chili, that is what makes this come together. The bread, I love the bread. It's nice and toasty. Uh, you can tell that they've toasted it. It's very nice and cushiony on the inside. Very delicate on the outside. But with the cucumbers and the tomatoes, everything, it's fresh, it's delicious. And I love, like I said, the burger itself, the meat, it's just bouncy. It's just that sort of meat patty that's just so bouncy and so delicious. Um, and it's so almost like stretchy, you know, very, very much like the kebabs that we had earlier, where it's very, very stretchy, very elastic, very bouncy. Um, 
And that's very typical of meat here in the Balkans and also in Turkey, but really, really delicious. I love the bread. I love the way he toasts it. And this is a very popular shop. Like since I've been here, I think three people have just walked by and gotten their food. So definitely if you come here, try this out. It's delicious, the Pescavitsa. They've got small, bit medium, and big. When I said I want the small one, he's like, you're such a big guy. You're not gonna take a small one, are you? Um, so definitely when you're here, come and try it out. Doesn't speak a lot of English, but definitely, definitely worth it. When you're here, you've got to try this. I'm gonna finish this up and I did think that I found a really good dessert spot. So let me show you guys. Delicious. Can I have one to eat here? Yeah. yeah. All right, final stop of the day. We've come to a place the letters are in the Slavic alphabet. I have no idea how to pronounce the name of this store, but this place has been around since 1851. 1851. That is like what? Al almost 300 years of history. That's how old this place is. Obviously, my favorite thing here to have in Serbia, Trilec. That is my favorite thing here in the Balkans. I love it. And of course, we got some lemonade. Here on a hot day in Serbia, this is the best drink. Let's go ahead and try out the lemonade, see what it tastes like. Oh, that's the best lemonade I've ever had. Perfect sweetness, perfect lemonade -y. Oh, wow. That is perfect. That is literally perfect. Like, does not get better than that. Okay, let's go ahead and try out Tri Leche. Tri Leche, as you know, three, three milk. That's the type of cake it is. My favorite. Let's go ahead and try it out. Oh, usually it's a little bit more soggy, a little bit just, you know, kind of sogs down. Here, very, very, almost like solid. It's a very solid trileche. I've never had trileche this solid before. It's like a really heavy chunk. Um, you know, you can see there's no milk that's leaking off of it. That's not what's happening here. It's solid. The milk is really kept in there. That's a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is that you're not losing the flavor of the milk. You're not losing the flavor of the condensed milk or the evaporated milk and the normal milk. The bad thing, it gets heavy. It gets quite heavy, which is why we have lemonade here on the side to calm it all down. That is the perfect combination right here. Does not get better than that. That is delicious. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this up and that's it for the day. I'm done. I'm full. I'm not doing anything else. Um, I'm just gonna enjoy this and I will see you guys on the next video here from Serbia. What an amazing food day it has been today. Really, really good food, really high quality food. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.